Good, 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 good evening. We're so happy you're here. We're so glad you're here. We vlog every day, so if you like this video, we hope you come back tomorrow. I'm in a weird mood today. How do I keep saying it? I keep saying I want to do everything, but I want to do nothing. And it feels really early, but it's late. Yeah, it like feels it like it's 6 a.m. Like the time just was, is like... Zapped. Yeah. But weird. it's 6 p.m. Our only thing we have to do today is to go to Target to pick up an online order we made for James's Halloween costume because we thought that with the C-section that we would be home by Halloween and we would like be able to see him before Halloween and know his size and like shop but now that we might be in the hospital for Halloween so we had to do a little we got a home vlog all right so our evening is actually getting started by watching a new bucket list which we haven't been watching regularly but we wanted to see these bears that are in this episode so it's a really cool mansion they're staying in and then i think we probably need to cook dinner before we go to target but we're gonna watch some bears on the bucket list family wow look at this room this room is for james and James is being stubborn. Um, pretty pumped. Pretty pumped. After watching the Buckles family, where they see cubs, we came to the conclusion that Eve is actually a little bear cub. <laughs> Alrighty, here are black bean burgers. I like to leave like half of the mixture, like smash bean, and then more holy bean. Um, but I just put a little bit of olive oil and fry them up. We got some french fries because we're going easy peasy these days. But I did make a spicy ketchup situation that we're going to put on our burgers and dip our fries in too. I also ended up making a cucumber salad. Full cucumber, half an onion, some lime juice, and white wine vinegar, salt, pepper, garlic, and tahini. Oh, and a scoop of garlic hummus so it's a little bit creamier for a side classic easy dinner thanks for making these i requested the black bean burgers you're welcome all right i'm heading over to target to return some things and to pick up some things but check it out orlando health center and in one more light It'll be the turn that we hopefully will be taking very shortly, which is at Winnie Palmer, where we will be welcoming James into our life forever and ever. And oh, we are getting impatient. We're very excited. So I'm at the Super Target in the South Orlando district. To return this Batman to pick up an outfit for James. This Target is a super Target with an upstairs parking and it reminds me of Chicago. There's like one Target on Paul set I'm thinking of specifically. But it's it's a very Chicago thing to have your parking above the store. I wish Sarah came with me. It's like a ghost town in here. But I see Christmas stuff so I'm gonna go check that out. We got James's outfit and I returned that. Oh I love pajamas and Christmas and it's all out and I wish Sarah was here look at those only in Florida swimsuits Christmas I have to FaceTime her because this is all new and we got to check it out James is in for a rude awakening for the fact that he's going to be born basically Christmas season Target has I think I'm like in the midst of them putting all of the Christmas stuff out Sarah's got some pajamas I got some matching shorts or pants Sarah's ordering matching pajamas for James right now so that the, he'll match me. Sarah's got the socks that we got from Epcot the other day that I'll match. Hello, Wilderness Lodge trip. Hello, Christmas. Hello, baby during Christmas. Come on, look at this. This is incredible. But nothing, this is nice, but this is absolute. I don't wanna be rude. This is nothing compared to Macy's at Christmas time though. Sorry, Target. You're cool and all, but 
not like Macy's. Just in beef with Target and lots of stuff. Really cute Christmas. Really cute Christmas stuff back there. Really cute racks and racks and racks of dresses and bows and really cute fluffy Christmas stuff. Where's the boy Christmas stuff? Huh? This is the closest thing to it. And it, that, that actually doesn't have an animal like everything else that apparently there's three options there but we got racks on racks on racks on racks racks on racks racks on racks i would not be surprised if by the end of our adulting adventure through all of our children's lives sarah and i end up opening up our own children's clothing line which would actually be really fun so sarah we should think about this the tides are turning in this target right back there i see christmas lights right over here i see halloween all of this is about to get indoctrinated with the best season of the year. He's the Target King. Are we showing this or are we going to wait till Halloween? Let's wait till Halloween. What is it? That's James's costume. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait for Halloween. Target haul. Say, so I got to buy. I got a monster for our movie night. Ooh. Got a bunch of lighters. Why'd you get those kind? They were the only kind they had. Oh. Sorry. I don't know if I know how to use those. They're for our candles. We have not taken up smoking. Smoking is for jokers. Sarah is for Doritos. Oh, this bag, I don't think this bag was open, but it's definitely open now. Oh. So. Hopefully a little mouse in the store didn't open it. I didn't. I remember I told you I was holding all, all everything with my one hand. You didn't open them in the car? I swear, I did not open them. <laughs> They're not for Doritos. I'd open up, not to cheese ones, I don't want those. I'd open up the sweet and sour ones, the only vegan ones. I asked for the sweet and sour. And you said you would like the nachos too. But this is where I was bad. Oh no. I got these. Christmas? I got these. Christmas? <laughs> these. <laughs> these. They were all on sale. You asked me how much on sale they were. How much on Ten sale? Ten cents off. Ten cents. <laughs> I'm a sucker for a good deal. I already showed this in the vlog, but here's yours. I'm so excited! Here's mine. And I ordered Jamesy Boy his. Matching ones. And I'm wow. using Eve. Well, that, those doors are definitely open. That's why she's smiling like that. Ooh, Eve! It's a little spooky with this lighting. I had Nightmare Before Christmas on because I gotta soak it up. I just feel like Halloween's over. Like, we don't know when James Halloween is gonna is be over. here. Like, I'm excited to celebrate Halloween, but, like, we could be in the hospital. We could be home. We just don't know. Um, but anywho, I am finishing up thank you cards, guys. I did it. Last night, I worked on them for, like, two hours. Today, I worked on them throughout the day, just, like, between um, my work. My laptop was giving me serious issues today. That's why the vlog went up so late. But it kind of allowed me to work on the thank you cards. Um... And then I'm doing some digital thank you cards to you guys that sent us stuff. And there was something else I wanted to mention. Oh, today has been the day where I feel like I'm the most in pre-labor. Um, typically when I've been feeling like my contractions and things like that, they always start in the evening. Whereas today was all day long constant uncomfortableness in the best way possible. Um, but just not consistent enough to go to the hospital um but hopefully that is good means good things so once i finish this and we watch the movie i think i might bounce on the ball while we watch the movie um that's really been like continuing the feelings going like typically like a contraction would only last like a minute or so but when i've been on the ball it feels like things are are happening so probably gonna watch the movie on the ball um and that is my my little update and now it's time for it chapter two here's a quick story time i work at a timeshare company and prior to working at disney last year i worked at Wyndham destinations the company i still work at and on fridays it was like jeans and a polo day and what do I wear on my first Friday ever working there? And I may think I told the story once before. 
um, years ago though is I wore my DVC polo and at about two o'clock on that Friday I just get struck with shock and awe and I look down and on my shirt over my heart it says Disney Vacation Club member and I look up and look all around me I'm working at a timeshare company that wearing, is not wearing the competitors polo I later a couple months later was talking to my boss about it and apparently our director had a talking to my boss who wanted that boss to have a talking to to me about how it was ill it was ill thought of that I wore competitors clothing to work but he never had that conversation with me look at this old hat never, that you that's that's what out. that's what made me think of it putting this hat back on was this alani hat and i was like i almost because i almost put this on during my zoom calls today for work and i was like "Ooh, uh, probably shouldn't put another timeshare company's oh, excuse me flagship hawaiian resort on we really liked it chapter two i think we both like it because it like is more sci-fi sci-fi slash like mind trick slash I don't know just good yeah it's really good and like some of the like CGI like I get it's like it's almost like humorous but it like is doing that on purpose it's not like trying to be something that's not I enjoyed it I'd like to know what Stephen King thought of the remake well he was in the movie so I feel like that might make it feel like he at least had something to do with it or like at least had some sort of stamp of approval the 26th it's actually Peter's mom's birthday so leave a comment below saying happy birthday the big question is whether you are going to be able to say a hearty yes to your adventure Joseph Campbell I just taught Sarah how to use a lighter well, la ti da. I've never used one before. Not like that. You usually have like Peter the stick lit a park on fire. I did light a park on fire <laughs> once in my youth. But it was. <laughs> it was fine because it went out. It almost wasn't fine. Yeah. Anyway, I need to. <laughs> we need to sign off before I disclose any more felonies. Hey, I like fire. No wonder I like you. Because I was a youth pyromaniac. <laughs> It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.